The Gorons have to be the most friendly and epic looking race in the Legend of Zelda series. They're incredibly memorable and have an interesting culture. However, there's something wrong with it all. The place where they live will probably be their downfall. Why? Well, let's look into it. For as long as we can remember, Gorons have always been living on the famous Death Mountain, one of the highest points in the entire world. It's a huge place with all kinds of weird creatures and plants like the dongos and bomb flowers. Compared to the other parts of Hyrule, it's very different. It has become a well-known location within the series and is beloved by many. However, there are some problems with this, because this place will and probably has wiped out the Gorons multiple times in the entire history of the franchise. Now, you might think the following. But how, Wily? Who is to blame, Wily? When did this happen, Wily? What happened, Wily? Well, everything in time. First, we gotta take a short look at the Gorons themselves, because there are multiple ways how this mountain can ruin it all for them. Now, they are a humanoid rock-eating race, and despite their hulking appearance, they are a relatively peaceful species. They are usually considered to be of low intelligence, although there is no particular indication of this in the games. Besides that, they all live and work together, and a lot of their culture is based on warrior traditions. They are a proud race, and losing face is one of the things they consider a sin. Just look at the circumstances in Twilight Princess. Now that we know what we could expect from them, we can take a look at all the ways Death Mountain could be their downfall. In the series itself, there have been a couple of events that already created a huge amount of problems for them. One being the food supply. In Ocarina of Time, their primary source of food is rocks from the Dongo's Cavern. However, when Ganondorf seals the cave because of a conflict with them, they face the threat of starvation and extinction as a result of being separated from the nutritious rocks of the Dongo's Cavern. Now, as far as we know, they have always eaten this stuff in every game. There must be a specific kind of rock they need to live. Because outside of the Dongo's Cavern, there are also a ton of rocks, but for some reason, they're not good enough. Now in Ocarina of Time, the Gorons are saved from this by Link. He opens the cave and defeats the enemies found within. So the Gorons were lucky as far as we know. Without the boy in green, they would have starved, and all of this can happen again. The only thing that happened is that a rock fell down and blocked the entrance. The cave started to fill up with deadly creatures found in the area, and the bomb flower harvest that year was terrible. So it's a number of things combined, but still, it could happen again. And if it does, could they save themselves? Well, out of all the possible things that could happen, this is the easiest one to deal with. In Ocarina of Time, they also ask the Hylian King for help. So if they can't fix it, their allies might be able to. It would certainly take some time and put them in a tough spot, but in the end, it's quite manageable. Now, if these rocks are only found on Death Mountain is unknown. But if that's the case, then it will never work out in the long run. At some point, they will run out. And they will have a huge problem if there is no other place to go. So this could still be a bad thing in the end. On to the next option. One that's a lot darker and deadlier as well. The volcano turning against them. There are two options of what could happen, and it all depends on one thing. Is there gonna be lava and fire as well? A Link to the Past gave us a good example of an extremely unstable mountain that erupted, but didn't cover it in lava or fire. While in Ocarina of Time and Breath of the Wild, we experienced its more fiery wrath. The first possibility would already be a huge problem for them. Getting around on the mountain like that is almost impossible. When Link went to Death Mountain, there were rocks falling down all across the mountain due to volcanic eruption. And in this game, there aren't even any Gorons around. The only one who lives near it is Rosso. However, he isn't safe there at all, because a recent volcanic explosion caused several rocks and boulders to crash near his house. And he even lives at the foot of Death Mountain and not on it. So this already shows how dangerous it is. And it could also explain why there are no Gorons in this game. Now, could something like this be the downfall of the proud Goron race? Yes! This version of the mountain could never be a home for the Gorons. Things like finding more rock food, growing the iconic bomb flowers, 
building mines like they did in Twilight Princess, and a whole lot more are impossible now. In these circumstances, their main city would probably collapse at some point, taking out a huge number of their population. Now, would all of this be any worse if there was also lava involved? Well, yes, and for multiple reasons, actually. We have already seen in Breath of the Wild that Gorons can survive the most intense heat in the world, and being surrounded by lava lakes is something they can deal with. Now, if the volcano erupts and covers the whole mountain, they could recover from it. However, there's one other thing they will have a hard time with. Where there is fire, there is smoke, and in this case, also volcanic ash. It consists of tiny jagged pieces of rock and glass, is hard, abrasive, mildly corrosive, conducts electricity when wet, and does not dissolve in water. Besides that, it spreads over broad areas by wind, but that's not all, because you also have volcanic gases coming from the vents before, during, or after a volcanic eruption, and those are also extremely harmful. I'm not sure if the Gorons can handle this, but if they can't, then there's no way they will survive something like this. The smoke and gases are already a huge killer in real-world fires and volcanic eruptions, so they can probably take down a Goron as well. I'm quite sure of it. It will probably look a lot like the events seen at Pompeii. This was an ancient Roman city near the modern Naples. The old city was mostly destroyed and buried under 4 to 6 meters of volcanic ash in the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, who was close by. The eruption destroyed the city, killing its inhabitants and burying it under tons of ash. Almost no one survived this, so clearly it can be devastating. However, what would happen if the Gorons would have to leave Death Mountain and find a home elsewhere? Well, in two separate games we got good examples of what would happen. And sadly enough, it's not very positive. In the Minish Cap, only a few Gorons are seen, and they don't really live together as a group. They once lived on Mount Krenel, but their numbers have since dwindled, and they're a shadow of their former self. And in the Wind Waker, Gorons appear as disguised wandering merchants, who travel the Great Sea in search of valuable goods and to sell their wares. They don't have a home, as it was probably destroyed when the Great Flood happened. The events that happened before the Wind Waker started that turned Hyrule into a huge ocean. All of this shows how important Death Mountain, or something similar to it, is for the Goron race. Without it, they will never become as advanced and organized, However, it's also their biggest downfall and problem. It could be that they will run out of food. The economy will crash because there aren't any minerals or good soil for bomb flowers left. The volcano will explode or anything else really. There are a million options. What it comes down to, no matter what they do, it will be their end. One way or another. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoy. Hey, why don't you follow me on Twitter? Why don't you follow me on Instagram? Why, why, why don't you follow me on Twitch? Hey! Links are in the description and in the comment section and on the screen. Go there now! I post fun stuff there. My dog is amazing! Go check it out! What are you doing here? Please. Please.